Hey, what's to YouTube fam? It's your girl TK and I am at home vlogging, darling. And today I have decided that I wanted to get online real quick and I mean real, real quick and talk to you guys about Mr. Ron DeSantis. Of course, you guys should know that he is the Florida governor. This man, he has actually been in the news as of recent talking about a lot of the bills that he's trying to enact that is basically a breach of human rights. He wants to minimize diversity and inclusion. He doesn't want to talk about African American studies. He wants wants to take us back to the Jim Crow days, the laws, but I want you guys to understand something. This man is a breach, a breach of the U.S. Constitution. He's a violation of the 14th Amendment, Section 4. This man is a part of an insurrection, and he does not want to transfer power. At this moment, everything that Ron DeSantis is involved in, or, excuse me, involved in must be voided. And he knows it. He knows it in its entirety. Now, what I thought was interesting as of recent was that when I went online, there's a lot of talks about Twitter. Now, if you guys aren't aware, Twitter is now owned by Elon Musk. And Elon Musk has a lot of the same ideals, ideologies that Ron DeSantis has. But to see that Ron DeSantis is out here uh, taking away that Florida um, um, a part of his like handle of his name on Twitter is a very much so giving interesting. You know, it's really a thriller. This man is the representation of Florida. He's the face for Florida. And now he's disassociating himself from his Florida residents. And I just cannot fudge and believe it. You guys are going to have to let me know what you guys are thinking about this whole situation. His Twitter account, how, he's di how he is disassociating himself from Florida, the word Florida, although he is an active governor of Florida, y'all gonna have to let me know what you think guys are thinking. One thing I do know is this. I know he's a violation of the U.S. Constitution. I am trying to still figure out how this man is being paid, knowing that he is breaching the U.S. Constitution. Who is paying this gentleman? Who is paying this man to be a thriller? Who is paying this man to target minorities? Who is paying this man to breach the U.S. Constitution when it specifically says that what he is doing must be voided. Mm. Anyhow, guys, I want you guys to note real quick that um, I am always on my community tab. So if you are interested in anything that I am saying, you are more than welcome to look at my community tab because I am speaking them facts. I am putting like cases up. I am citing court cases. Oh my gosh. As of recent, I'm really exciting um the u.s supreme court i've actually cited a couple cases dealing with beyonce knows carter which i think she's a thriller as well i think she's a breach of the u.s constitution she is also in debt to the u.s constitution and everything she does this or thus far is a debt and that is just my feeling Anyhow, with that being noted, guys, I want you guys to know that my Instagram is always available for you. You guys can follow me on Instagram if you choose to. My Instagram handle is TKKNOWLES01. I want you guys to know very much so clearly that I am always talking like policies, procedures, laws, rules, and regulations. I am talking celebrities. I'm talking politicians. As a matter of fact, Ron DeSantis isn't the only one that I am a legend that is a part of debt when it comes to politicians. I am also a legend. Joe Biden, as well as Donald Trump, Joe Biden, when he gave his oath to Ukraine, as well as NATO. And then when his wife went to Africa and gave bilateral funds to the African residents, when she is not an employee of the federal government is a thriller in its entirety. It is a thriller in its entirety. January 6th insurrection that Donald Trump has caused is a thriller where people were standing on furniture, breaking glasses, breaking windows, breaking doors to uh, uh, basically come inside of, you know, the White House. It's, it's just, it's just, it's all of this is a thriller. You know, <laughs> I, I get discombobulated. Just, it's a thriller. It's a thriller that these people are not really being held accountable. And it's now time to hold them accountable. Donald Trump needs to be held accountable. Joe Biden needs to be held accountable. And there should be some type of act put in place to ensure that the transfer of power is taken care of accordingly. 
And with that being noted, guys, I want you guys to know that my community tab, Instagram, all of that is available for you. It's your choice to use it. Peace, love, and happiness, guys. Stay safe, stay blessed, and remember, always pay attention to these laws, rules, and regulations because you don't know when, where, and or how it might impact you. Bye, guys.